It's an ice age in GTA 5, and today I'm collecting cars that only exist in weather like this. I don't know what we're gonna find, but it's so cold, we will freeze outside. So I've wrapped up warm, and we're going to our first location. You stay here, boy, I'll be back. Just to show you how cold it is, you can see my breath come straight out of my mouth. It's freezing! So the first place I want to go to is actually one of my neighbor's houses. I could hear him do some repairs to his vehicle just this morning, so I want to see what he's done. Let's see what he managed to create. Oh, yo, look at this. It's got a plow on the front. And check it out, there's even a place in the back to keep your luggage nice and toasty warm. <laughs> hey, hey, man, love your ride. This is a really nice car. And it's going to do quite nicely in the Ice Age. Although, it's not exactly going to keep you warm. It's not got any doors or windows. Anyway, I'll be taking this. Thanks. Oh, yo, that was a proper bush <laughs> right in the face. Anyway, I have myself the first Ice Age car. The plow is stuck in the gates. Oh, my days. Hey, uh, how about we don't get that thing stuck in the gates? This is not what a plow is meant to be used for. Oh, boy. <laughs> how have I done this? I'm stuck in his driveway. This is no good. Oof. All right, I'm free from the gates, and I am officially on the road. So this is like an off-road buggy, and just in case we get snowed in, I can use this to push the snow out of the way. This is gonna come in really handy because winter's coming up pretty soon. And I remember last year, we almost got snowed in. The year before, we did. I built a giant snowball and a huge snowman. It was it was so much fun. My friend, he did the snowman upside down. I think I'll do that this year. <laughs> An upside down snowman. Anyway, here's my first ride. Get that buffalo in your garage, Franklin. We ain't using any of these stupid vehicles. We're only using snowy vehicles today. I don't want to see another normal vehicle again. So this is my first car. I love it. I think it looks great. And if anyone gets snowed in this year, just give me a cool. Franklin's gonna pull up with this. <laughs> From, what is it? The Polaris. I'm just gonna call it the off-road snowplow buggy. It's even got a light on the top in, in case you can't see this coming at you. I don't know, maybe it's a foggy day. Who knows? I'm going to the most expensive estate in Vinewood Hills. These guys are bound to have some sort of Ice Age vehicle. If that guy built his own, these people, they're gonna hire a team of people to upgrade their car. And I wanna see exactly what they do. All right, let's take a look in this driveway. Man, they locked their door. Or is it frozen shut? Who knows? Looks like I gotta find another way to sneak in. I can't wait to see what these guys are cooking up. They're gonna have the best vehicles in the world. I just know it. Now, how exactly am I gonna get in? I don't think... Oh, man. Even this wall is too high. Now, this is gonna be kind of tricky. I need to find... Oh, here we go. Yes! I'll sneak in around the back. <laughs> now, what have they got hiding in their driveway? Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, really? There's, there's literally nothing? Oh, that's a shame. I was expecting to find something. Okay. I don't know. Maybe their neighbor's got something good. Hello, hello. I'm just looking for another snow. Oh, jeez. Hey, what the? <laughs> What's going on here? Wait, wait a second. Is there someone in the middle of the snowman? Oh, my days. Yo, I think I've interrupted something. Uh, I, so, so sorry about this snowman. I'll leave you to do, do your own thing. Clearly, this guy doesn't have a, an ice age vehicle. That's fine. I'll just go, wait, you guys are just chilling outside? It's like minus 40 out here. <laughs> They're insane. Okay, that leaves just one place left. Please have something, please. I don't even know if they do. I'm just guessing they do. It's the most expensive estate. Oh, yes, they do. Look at this. Oh, my days. Yo, this is gonna do nicely in an ice age. I love the wheels. Meant for snowy weather. Now, it's got a roof rack with a shovel. Yep, this is exactly what you need. It is the Cherokee. All right, this is quite a nice ride. <laughs> There's a tow bar at the front. It's a Jeep. Yep, I love it. This is great. This is awesome. Yo, jump in, Franklin. Jump in. I can't wait to see how this thing drives. It's a two. No, it's a four-seater. There's boot space. It's even got fog lights as well. You're gonna need them when it's snowing like this. And they're pretty bright. So you can tow vehicles out of situations, front and the back. There's another tow bar at the back in case I want to put some trailers on there. Uh, let's see if we can... Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we can go through the gates with ease. Unlike the last car. That's when I already know this car is better. This car is way better. <laughs> so the inside has quite a few different cool things, such as how fast you're going. How much fuel you have? Yeah, it's got things inside, but we're not really after that. I want to see how fast this can go and... Ooh. 
check it out. It's actually got pretty good handling and pretty good speed. Ah, uh, suckers. <laughs> you ain't got snow cars like these. Almost flipped it, but it came back on itself. Yeah, this car knows what it's doing. It's basically got a mind of its own. And check it out. I did a quick old skid around the corner and we're still a okay. And another little drift. Ooh, into the rock. And still, it's fine. Let's do one more. Oh my days. Yo, this is fun. I could skid around every single corner. Luckily, I'm back. I'm in one piece. Not a single scratch. Just a little bit of snow all over this guy. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right next to my off-road snow plow. Yep, that's, that's quite a good vehicle. Not gonna lie. I, I, I would love to have this in an ice age. And now I do, I'm never letting it go. But let's see what other people have. In fact, I got a really cool place to go to next. I reckon the military's gotta have something good. Because it's an ice age, they won't be able to see me sneak in. I can't even see more than five meters ahead of me. I mean, there could be a car driving towards me right now, and I wouldn't even know. Yeah, maybe I should... Yeah, I'll, I'll just go to the side. I'll go to the side just in case. Just in case. Yeah, never know. The guys in the base are bound to have something built up. Let's be honest. It's the military. And... Ooh. Okay, there is a guard on duty. He's seen me. He's seen me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's go back into the shadows. Into the shadows. He can't see me now. He's going, sucker. He doesn't even know what I'm about to do. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to sneak in this way. I don't think he's... I genuinely don't think he's going to see me. So let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. <laughs> yes! I'm in the military base. Not a wanted level. No one shouting at me. No one's trying to take me down. I am in the base. No one can see me. This is brilliant. Now, I'm going to check this hangar first. Let's be honest. If they build a vehicle, it's going to be in a hangar. Hold on. Hold on a second. I think I found a tank. Could you imagine if they built an Ice Age tank? <gasps> no way. They have. It's got a plow with spikes on. It's even got, like, snow camouflage. And there's two people working on this as we speak. They don't even see me. Okay, let me just see. Is there anyone else around? Uh, nope, we're pretty well protected. All right, here's the deal. They're going down. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. All right, now's my chance. Now's my chance. Jump in and let's go. So I officially have the Ice Age tank in GTA 5. Does it fire? Yes, it, does. it actually does. That's crazy. Okay, so we got heat shells. We're going to need them in an Ice Age. I also have a turret, which I can use. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting this in the military base. Let's get this out, and then we'll have some fun when I get to Los Santos. I can barely even see where I'm meant to drive. This is so weird. Maybe this is a bit better. This is way better. I can actually see from the turret as well. <laughs> All right, this way. And then uh, down here, I guess. I I'm just winging it right now. I just want to get out of the base through the car park. And then a little left turning, and I'm on the main road. Here we go. Nice. This guy's going to be so confused when he sees me rolling out with this tank. <laughs> I bet he's still there as well. Yo, he is. He's still there. <laughs> Sucker. You snooze, you lose, buddy. So I officially have the best tank in GTA 5. It's uh, so well disguised, you can't even see it anymore. Now you can. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna warm you up. I mean, if you need a fire anywhere, just fire the tank down. You got a little campfire where you are. Guys, I'm not even kidding. This Ice Age is really bad. I can't even see where I'm meant to go. <laughs> this is gonna be a very interesting journey home. I gotta be careful I don't go into the lake. I'm pretty sure there's one of those next to me. Whoa, oh my days. There it is. There's the lake. There's the lake. Slow and steady, Franklin. Slow and steady. Anyway, I've managed to make it back from Sandy Shores. I am so pleased to be back from there. You guys have no idea. That was a wild journey home. But I officially have the camouflage ice age tank. I did a good job of this. A really good job. But now I go on from the military. It kind of makes sense I go to the police station. Do you reckon they got something too? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's take a look. Now, because it's an ice age, no one is outside, which means no one's gonna stop me. I could retrieve an impounded vehicle. No, I'm good. I wanna see what you got hiding in here. You always have something good in there. I'm gonna be gutted if there isn't a police ice age car. Really gutted, please. Please. Oh, there's something. There's... Look at this. Nice. All right. It hasn't got like those tank wheels, but it's from the police force. Los Santos San Andres serving the capital. And it's got ice chains on the wheels. That's what you need. 
When it's like that outside, it stops you skidding around and you're able to catch up to whoever's running away from you. This is a really nice car. I can't wait to get in, give it a spin, test out those wheels. Have I got to break in? I oh, know we're good. We're good. <laughs> Jump in, Franklin. Switch the engine on and let's go. So this is the inside. Looks pretty nice on the inside. Well, it's a big computer. I can search up any name I want on here. I got binoculars, all of the high spec things, and most of all, some of the best tires we can have in an ice age. Look at them go. We're kicking up so much snow. And it's got police lights. I love them. They're cool. I am so glad I stopped by the police station. If I didn't go by, I would have missed out on this masterpiece. Oh, what's this? Oh, yo, are you guys seeing this? We can upgrade Franklin's car, the one I shoved in the garage. If you subscribe to this channel, give it a go. Let's subscribe. I want to see what happens if I upgrade Franklin's car into an Ice Age vehicle. It would be amazing if we could upgrade Franklin's buffalo. I gotta make it happen. Speaking of which, has it already happened? Ah, uh, no, it's still there. Okay, guys, it hasn't upgraded. I guess we need more of you to subscribe. <sighs> I'm sure you will. Maybe we'll get it upgraded later in the video, but until then, I want to keep finding more vehicles because these four are cool, but I know there's even better ones out there, which is why I kind of want to go to the hospital. I mean, the military base had one, the police station had one. Would the hospital have one too? <laughs> This is only one way to find out. I'm pretty sure that is near enough where we're going to. Let's see. I would be amazed if these guys had their own Ice Age car. That would be an ambulance upgraded. But I guess it kind of makes sense when you think about it. They have. They've upgraded their ambulances. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, I gotta jump in this. I've never seen that one before. Uh oh, there's two medics outside. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I really need to borrow this. Bit of an emergency. This is such a cool vehicle. It's built for this sort of situation. We got three seats. Someone can chill in the middle. Uh, it says ASAP on the side, so I guess this is the absolute emergency medical service you need. And uh, yeah, let's get out of here. There's even a first aid kit in the back. It has flaps at the side to stop any uh, snow coming up, I guess. <laughs> Yo, this is seriously cool. And the wheels are pretty small, I guess. Maybe that helps with grip. Honestly, I don't know, but look how reinforced the front is. I just took out the water hydrant. Easy peasy. There's plenty of room to sit down. There's even a bed on the side that falls down. Hey, look at that guy in his normal car, sucker. He doesn't even know what he's missing out on. I just love how compact this is. Like, this genuinely feels like a super efficient ambulance. And now it's mine, and I'm not giving it back. It's joining the collection of Ice Age cars. I am so glad I checked out the hospital and the police station and the military base, to be honest. I would have missed out on all of those. Car number five. I'll be leaving you next to the tank with side lights and the medical logos. It's even got, hold on, fire department. Yeah, this belongs to the fire department as well. Not just the medical department. This is a pretty awesome ride. All right, we better get hunting. I want to find more of them. Which is why I've decided to go to the quarry. Oh, you couldn't tell it's the quarry? Yeah, I guess it is a bit foggy. If any... Oh, my days. Yo, okay, okay, okay. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Please don't run me over. Whew. As I was saying, if there's gonna be any sort of Ice Age vehicle, it's gotta be in the quarry. That genuinely terrified me. Just came out of nowhere. But I don't really know how easy it's gonna be to find one, considering I almost got squished by a truck, and another one could be coming right at me. I mean, who knows? And I can't even see much in front of me. Okay, we're gonna find something. I promise. We will. <laughs> there's bound to be something good. This is the quarry. It never closes down. No matter if there's an Ice Age, a thunderstorm, or even a tsunami. There's Still working around the clock. And I will search every road if I have to. I will find myself another Ice Age car. There's bound to be one here somewhere. Maybe if I climb up here, I'll be able... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yo! Wait, I've actually found one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've actually found one! It's a snowplow! And it's lifted up some snow. That's pretty crazy. From the front and on the plow in the middle. That's awesome. It, it belongs to cats. Fantastic. This is a really heavy industrial vehicle. Yo, jump in. Can I... Can I, like, move the plow around? Is that possible? How do I... Oh, my days! I can keep plowing snow! That is awesome! Whoa! <laughs> this is the coolest vehicle ever! Whoa, 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 don't go off the cliff. Don't go off the cliff now. That, that would be a terrible, terrible idea. It comes with its own flashing light as well. That's actually really handy because uh, if that dump truck had a flashing light, maybe I wouldn't have been scared as much when it came straight out of the fog. It has a horn... 
as you would expect it's pretty much the biggest vehicle on the quarry i don't even know what those dials are trying to tell me to be honest uh, if it freezes it freezes i don't really know let's get out of the quarry and put this on the road i'm pretty sure i'm on the right side of the road now uh, so all my days. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is the wrong side guys. Can you just please? <laughs> I got the siren on I got the side all my days I could have I could have just gone around there. Let's go through the middle really sorry about that fellas I'm, I'm still trying to figure this whole ice age thing out. You know visibility ain't very good Anyway, as I was saying I am now driving back home. This is the best vehicle ever <laughs> I kind of want to plow into a bunch of cars though and just see the damage we can do so let's just go full steam ahead and if anyone faces the wrath of this vehicle, then honestly, it's not my fault. Oh my days, this guy, <laughs> not my fault. Sorry, buddy. You just happened to accidentally go into my path. I'm pretty sure everyone has now just tried to hide from me. There's literally nobody around on my side of the road. The other side seems really busy. <laughs> There's no one here. Am I even on the road still? Oh yes, I am. And I can see somebody. They just went back into the fog, but I'm, oh no, they're trying to dodge me. <laughs> No, you don't, buddy. You're going down. Oh, jeez. I've taken out the passenger. Sorry. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Let's let's just get to Los Santos. Hey, the weather's cleared up a little bit. Miraculously, I have made it home. We didn't get a wanted level. You'll be pleased to know. The police did not try and arrest me. And I officially have the coolest snowplow in the world. Yeah, this this is now mine. So uh, I'm going to have fun with this. If anyone messes with me, this is going straight through their house. <laughs> right. Let's get the next one. And there it is. I don't want to believe this, but I think they're doing some clothes shopping in an ice age. I know it, it sounds pretty insane, but I, I think that's what they're doing because their car is right outside a clothes store, believe it or not. I Honestly, I don't know how they've done this. <laughs> Jump in, Franklin. I want to give this a ride. The Luaz Luaz 969. Well, it's not exactly the fastest machine. But, oh, wait, hold on. No, we're getting some speed. I'll give it credit where credit is due. This is... It's slow on the acceleration, but the speed is actually pretty good. It's quite slow on the turning and the steering, but you know what? I kind of like this. It looks strong, reinforced, and I like the tank track tire things. They're awesome. Yeah, check it out. I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. If I was going around Los Santos, I would want something like this too. Hey, even go postal a delivery. Those guys deliver no matter what. We got some very strong workers in this world. Hey, let's go through the movie studio. Uh, there's a security guard there, too. Mind if I quickly come through, buddy? Yeah, I'm sure you don't. Cheers, buddy. You're the best. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> there's a spare... Wait, why is there a spare tire on the back? Does that make sense to you? Where are the tires on this vehicle? What? Okay, that hurts my head. Uh, maybe, like, a track would be good, but a tire? That doesn't make any sense. Nah, whatever. They know what they're doing. So, this is the next one in the collection. It's, uh, it's awesome. We got fog lights, a horn... Tank tracks. Yeah, I'm impressed. This is everything I need. We're really crowding this place up now. How many have we got? Six? Seven? This is the seventh one? Yo, I'm racing through this. We're on seven. How many more are there to collect? Like, <laughs> is seven not enough, Franklin? Nah, nah. Seven is nowhere near enough. I want to see what else is out there. So I was just casually doing a hike up near Mount Chiliad. You know, as you do in an ice age. And you won't believe what I came across. Uh, when I started hearing some engines and noises, a snowmobile and this dude who's got himself a snowboard would you believe it he's actually got a snowboard and he's not even using it that's that's honestly just a disgrace my guy i gotta take that thing because you're not using it you do realize that right <laughs> thanks so now i officially have his snowboard i will get on the snowmobile at some point I just want to go snowboarding for now. <laughs> this is such a cool vehicle. I don't care if it's an ice age. We are now officially snowboarding, everybody. Yeah, look at me go. Look at me go. I'm not taking a path. No, no, no. I want to go off-road. We're doing cross-country snowboarding now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. 180. I want to do a quick old 360. But first, we're crouching down. We're going ducking right now because I'm pretty sure there's bears around here. Last thing I want to do is encounter any bears. Oh, or any park rangers. That would be... That would be really bad, actually. Hey, you know what you guys need? Some of those things to go around your wheels to make them better in the snow. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. We're going for a really fast run this time. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. And a quick jump. Yeet! Oh, man, you forgot to jump, Franklin. What are you doing? 
I still did a 360 though, and now I'm at the wood factory. Wait, I gotta go all the way back up to get my snowmobile. I did not factor that in. All right, can we snowboard uphill, Franklin? Yeah, yeah, okay, we can do this. That's fine. Bear with me, guys. I'm going back up. <laughs> ah, wonderful. It's still there. Perfect. Well, it's been a pleasure on the snowboard, but uh, right now I need an engine which works. And luckily for us, this works. This is awesome. I got myself my first ever snowmobile. There's two skis on the front. There's this rotating engine at the back. And oh my days. Yo, I did not plan to go down here, Franklin. <laughs> this is such a dumb idea. Wait, isn't there like a huge like river underneath that bridge? What? Oh my days. There's a jet. Yo, the military are still flying jets in this weather. This is a stupid idea. We gotta land on that bridge. Or else we are so screwed. Not on the train, though. Not on the train. Please do not land on the train. <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, my days. No, I missed. I missed. Come on. Oh, boy. Alright, we're taking the long way around, Franklin. You just had to screw it up, didn't you? You had to screw it up. Ta-da. I'm back already. It only took me 20 minutes to get back home. Hey, do you reckon my car's been upgraded? I'm gonna go check it out. There's a chance it could be. I mean, I don't know how many subscribers we needed, but l let's see if it's upgraded yet. Ah, are you kidding? It's still not upgraded? How many do we need? Yo, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I want to see my car upgrade too. <sighs> Anyways, think. Where would there be? Oh, I know, guys. We'll go on a Simeon. He's always got something good. And now it's an Ice Age. He's going to have something great. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, yes. I made the right call. He does have a car. And it looks like it's just him. Okay, this is going to make me feel really bad. He's by himself. Yo, Simeon. Are you having a good time in the Ice Age? No, not really. Uh, do you want a drink? Uh, no, I'm good, actually. I don't really fancy a drink, but I love what you've done with your car. What is this, the ladder? Yeah, this, this is a really nice design. Check it out. You got some snow tires. See, you went a bit modest with this. You could have done this to, like, a Lamborghini or something. You do know that, right? I can't afford a Lamborghini. My store has been robbed 100 times this year. Uh, oh, wow, 100 times. Oh, boy. Yo, I, now I feel really bad for him. You're not going to take my car, right? It's the only one I have. Oh, boy, now I feel really bad. Uh, yeah, Simeon, I am. I'm sorry. You monster. How can you sleep tonight? I, I will sleep very fine, Simeon, because I'm here to get every single vehicle <laughs> in the Ice Age. You idiots. Oh, I don't like you no more. I uh, will be friends next week, Simeon. I know we will. You just give me a job. I'll get your vehicles all over again. So this is Simeon's Ice Age car. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, the tires are a little bit smaller than what I've seen on other ones, but I'm not going to complain or judge Jimmy on whatsoever. This looks like a really cool car. And he's done some upgrades to it. It's now ready for an Ice Age. It's bossing the Ice Age. And you know what? This actually feels like the fastest car yet. He must have put a pretty good engine in this. This is really fast. Yeah, this is a great ride, actually. Yo, I'm impressed. Simeon, this is awesome. <laughs> You'll be able to escape the police, the military, everyone in this. I'm going like 200 miles an hour. Let's get some air up here. <laughs> Never thought I'd be doing that in a car like this. I'm not going to lie. It might not look the best, but this is my favorite ride so far. Hands down. I managed to get to my street in less than a minute. That's pretty fast. Now I know Simeon's got a car. Let's see if Michael's got anything we can take too. If I know Michael and I know him well, he's gonna have something. Please have something good, Michael. But what does he have? Well, there's nothing in the driveway. If Michael finds out I'm on his drive, he's gonna be so annoyed. Do you reckon he's even here? I mean, it's an ice age. If I were Michael, I'd be riding the Caribbean or something nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look at the... <gasps> Oh my days. Yo, Michael, nice car. What is that? Like a like a 4x4 four four with, with snow tires. Yeah, this is a really good car. Best one I've seen. Go away. Go, whoa, go away? Yo, why do you want me to go away? Come on, bro. I'm, I'm probably the first person who even came to check up on you today. I know what you want. Now go. No, I don't want to go, Michael. I just want to say hello. Not one more step. Okay, okay, Mike. I'm not going to take one more step. But how quick are you drawing that? Because I'm even quicker. Well, bam! Get him! <laughs> got you, Michael! Sorry, buddy, but it's gotta be done. Hey, hey, oh, my days. Whew, that was close. Right, well, this is his ride. It's the Ram 2500 Heavy Duty. Let's be honest. Michael took this from somebody else. There's no way he got this himself. It's just too good. It's massive. <laughs> and now it's mine. It barely fit in his garage, to be honest. 
Look at this. It even has American Force on the back. And this is meant to be one of the heaviest snow vehicles out there. It has a sunroof because, of course, in an ice age, there's going to be plenty of sun. A solid metal back in case you want to carry whatever it is you want. Snow track tires at the front and off-road tires on the back. Jewel tires as well. We ain't messing around right now. This is the best vehicle for an ice age. My favorite one by far. There's the latest gear and tech right in front of me on the dashboard and whatnot, and it goes pretty fast. It doesn't seem as fast as Simeon's car, but it's up there with one of the fastest. I gotta be careful Michael doesn't try and take this back from me because he is gonna try, believe me. <laughs> He's gonna be so annoyed right now. Oh my, dear. wait, hold on. Yo, guys, if I press this, it flashes yellow and white. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, no matter how foggy it is, you're gonna see me coming. And with the actual main lights on as well, this is a driving Christmas tree. I love it. If I left this right now outside my neighbor's house, they would literally destroy this car by the time morning comes. Those lights are so bright. <laughs> it's just blinding every time they flash. Anyway, I'm leaving this thing right here. This is such a cool collection. Am I Okay, I'm leaving the lights on. Yeah, fantastic, Franklin. Wait, let's just annoy the entire neighborhood. It's a Christmas tree. What's not to like? But I'm not done. It might look like I am, and I've got an amazing, awesome collection of Ice Age vehicles, but we are not done. When my car is upgraded, I'll be done. Because now I'm checking the garages. There's bound to be something in some of these. Come on, there's gotta be. There's gotta be something. Oh, yes, there is. There is. <laughs> it's a snow bike. Awesome. Just what I need in an Ice Age. If I want to get somewhere fast and take any route, I want, I'll be taking this. Maybe I should check garages more often. That was the first one I checked, and I found this bike. How awesome is that? Let's go and check another one. <laughs> what are we gonna find in another garage? I know so many around this city, so uh, we might find a lot of things. Hey, check it out. The Christmas tree is still flashing. <laughs> When will that stop? I don't know. I don't care, to be honest. I want to keep finding vehicles. It's not the Eclipse Towers. It's like the step down. The second most expensive. Next to the movie studios, but this place has like a really big garage. And I'm about to go inside and see if there's anything in there. I mean, if this is an apartment block and there's a massive garage, there's bound to be like something in here. There's like a hundred people who use this. And hold on a second. I think I can see something. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. It is another construction vehicle. This is like the ultimate snowplow. We can pick up chunks of snow with this and lift it up. <laughs> All right, I am actually really happy with this. If I had to get any toy car, it would be something like this. We'll be able to pick up everything and throw it behind us. I kind of want to see if we can. Let, let's let's get this out of here. Okay, I'm out of the garage. Hey. Oh, oh my days. Okay, it, it stops there. That sucks. How am I supposed to throw things behind me? All right, whatever. At least this still is functional. I can lift things up. I kind of want to get shop in here. But unfortunately, Chop is at my house. So I'm just going to scoop up this guy instead. He's going to have to do... There we go. Oh, no, no. Get in the shovel thing. I know this is meant to be used in the snow, but come on. This is... <laughs> This is way more fun. Hey, 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 come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. And lift him. Oh, my days. Stop wriggling out. Are you okay? He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. All right, let me just... I just want to get him in. No, no. That's running him over, Franklin. That, that is running him over. Are you okay? Oh, boy. Okay. I don't think he's okay anymore. But that, that's fine. We still need to scoop him up. I need to hide the evidence. Oh, my days. He's being really tricky with us. Come on. Put the knees in. Oh, my days. Why is he being so problematic? <laughs> Get in the front of my truck, please. No, this is impossible. How, how do I do this? Okay, I'm kind of glad I did not try and get shop in this because uh, it would have ended very badly for him. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> no, I accidentally lifted that thing up that time. That was, that was my bad. Every other time was your bad. That was my bad. All right, let's just bring it around, bring it around, bring it down, and scoop him. Oh, jeez, I give up. Come on, this is the pointless thing. <laughs> I thought it would be easy to get things in the front of this. But no, it's extremely hard. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't need to scoop things up in that thing. I already know it's a boss in an ice age. Christmas tree is still popping. Loving the vibes. I'll be back. Because I'm breaking in to the prison. We do have some guards guarding the front door. But as it's an ice age, we don't care about the front door. I'll just sneak in this way instead. <laughs> yeah. I'll climb up this ladder, go over the building and jump straight in. You just watch. There's no way they'll catch me do this. Now, usually they have like prison buses in the prison. They might still have them today. Who knows? We're about to find out though. These guys are gonna have something. I mean, they're looking after prisoners and now it's an ice age. 
course they're gonna upgrade their cars. And I didn't even have to look that far because I've already found it. <laughs> Talk about reliability. Yo, this is seriously nice. You got some medical flags on the back. This is beefy. Yo, how have you done this? <laughs> These prisoners would be terrified. Anyway, you should be terrified because I'm about to take this car from you. Thanks, buddy. You've done a fantastic job. So this is a monster. And whoa, those lights, <laughs> they're even better. Wow. It has one of the loudest horns ever and slightly terrifying as well. If I was in the fog and heard this coming at me, especially like this, <laughs> I would be so scared. Wait, did they open the gates for me? Are they blind? I'm literally taking their car from them. I think they are. This Ice Age is doing some weird things. This is one of my favorite cars. I love the ladder on the side, how blinding the lights are and the storage on this. There's plenty of storage. It's got six wheels. All of them look reinforced. And I'm pretty sure no matter what we crash into, we're gonna be just fine. Oh, cool. It's even got a bobblehead from Fallout in the front. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that thing. Uh, so yeah, the inside is completely decked out. Plenty of things here to mess around with. But that's not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is finding out if my car has officially been upgraded. Where do I even leave this thing anymore? We've got quite a few. <laughs> this is a wild collection. How many of these exist? Right, you're gonna have to stay there for now. Have they upgraded my car? Please tell me they have. Please, please, please. The moments of truth. Yes, it has. Oh, I remember this. I got it like two weeks ago. And now it's fine again. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much for subscribing, everybody. I officially have Franklin's car upgraded for the Ice Age. What an awesome collection. Hey, what's that guy doing? Is that a fire brigade here or something? Yo, check it out, by the way. I'm pretty sure this does work. Yeah, I got my own minigun. And does it have like a tank cannon? No, it's just a minigun. Okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> this is still awesome. So I think I'm going to end it there. I've collected a lot of Ice Age vehicles. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Smash like if you enjoyed and help us get to 7 million subscribers. Thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome.